welcome you here. Whether you choose to be seen on Zoom or not, you are welcome here. No matter your age, your size, or if you decide to speak, you are welcome here. No matter the color of your skin, your hair, or your eyes, you are welcome here. No matter whom you love or how your family is composed, you are welcome here. Whether your ability to contribute comes in the form of time, talent, or treasure, you are welcome here. No matter how you express your gender identity or whatever your abilities, you are welcome here. Whether you come with laughter in your heart or tears, you are welcome here. Come with an open mind, a loving heart, and willing hands, you are welcome here. We gather this hour as people of faith with joys and sorrows, gifts and needs. We light this beacon of hope, sign of our quest for truth and meaning in celebration of the life we share together. May we shine a light of love. May we shine a light of love. 
With every thought, with every step we take, may we shine a light of love. May we shine a light of hope. May we shine a light of hope. With every thought, with every step we take, may we shine a light of hope. Um, as a prelude to our time for all ages, uh, we're going to share a short musical excerpt from Phoebe and Tobias Krauschar. I just love that. Uh, that video was taken after we did our bulb planting in the community garden several weeks ago. Many thanks to Robin T for leaving his instruments in the sanctuary. They've been uh, a really just a blessing for those of us who are here throughout the week. We really appreciate it. Um, for our time for all ages this morning, uh, I have selected a song, uh, This Little Light of Mine, as this is our inspiration service and our centering grounding. Um, this song I always think of when I think of those things. Um, and I hope that it'll kindle a little light in you and that we can carry it forward through what might be a difficult week. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. announcement apologies that I meant to do with our time for all ages. Um, thank you to everyone who contributed to our It's Scary to be Hungry food drive um, that we completed yesterday. Um, we gathered 179 pounds of food for the community food bank. So thank you. Thank you for everyone um, who contributed. And if you are still interested in making food donations to the community food bank, they're always in need of food as well as monetary donations. So if you're interested in that, just reach out to me. Today's centering words come from Barbara Marciniak's Bringers of the Dawn. It is time to take another step on your path. This involves being willing to take your place in a new way within your world. It is the time to be willing to expand out your consciousness, to hold all human beings within a flowing, fluid place of interconnection within you through your God consciousness. 
It does not mean you need to embrace the lower energies of the ego of each human being, but to open to the God consciousness that exists within each human on this earth plane, no matter how buried it appears to be. As you do this, there is a sacred web that begins to birth through the planet. And this sacred web begins to spin, assisting in the awakening of truth on your planet. This is love in action birthing through you. Through the love births the sacred connection that you activate with your, with your conscious choice. We shall be known by the company we keep as the ones who circle around to tend these fires. We shall be known as the ones who sow and reap the seeds of change alive from deep within the earth. It is time now. It is time now that we thrive. It is time we lead ourselves back to the will. It is time now, and oh, what a time to be alive. In this great turning, we shall learn to lead in love. In this great turning, we shall learn to lead in We shall be known by the company we keep as the ones who circle round to tend these fires. We shall be known as the ones who sow and reap the seeds of change to life from deep within the earth. It is time now. to the well it is time now and what a time to be alive in this great turning we shall learn to lead in love in this great turning we shall learn to lead in love in this great turning we shall learn to lead as Go ahead, Joni. Okay. Um, so uh, I've been, um, Ben and I have been doing some, some music together, which has been a really wonderful blessing uh, of this time because he's living at home when he normally, or he, he shouldn't. And uh, he's been developing his, his, um, his ability to um to do music he's been collecting um collecting oh what are they called synthesizers. uh synthesizers and and so for a long time i've been wanting to do this song which peg introduced to me a long time ago this is um a song that was written um for specifically for mdd and it's a song about um living in the west and unitarian universalism so um, Ben did a beautiful um, arrangement of this and did the music. Um, I asked my husband, Kent, who is a wonderful photographer to put um, some photographs together of, of the West. And I guess if I had to say anything, I'll say that I'm really grateful for where I live. I'm grateful for the beauty that is around us. I'm grateful for the Unitarian Universalist community. And I think this song, just really encompasses all of that. Anything you want to say, hon? No, I'm good. All right. This is for all of you. For the beauty that 
that surrounds us that is far beyond our knowing from the breezes through the pines that set the desert grasses blowing for the love that reaches out across the grand expansive west and connects us all as one splendor of the seasons as our planet keeps on turning from the snow drifts in the mountains to the desert hot and burning for the wonder of the earth that reaches out across the west and connects us all Lift us up and give us wings For the passions that define us And sustain our deepest being For the open minds and hearts That open up our way of seeing For the vision that's inspired Thank you, Line Box. That was so beautiful. Thank you. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, allow us all to unmute ourselves. And we, uh, Dwayne is going to eventually close us out today with a Mary Oliver poem. And um, I have a song that I'm going to share from Kathleen. And we have a song from Miriam. But if you would like to uh, share something now, um, if you have some words of wisdom or just some thoughts um, that can just, you know, help us feel like we are together in this community, not alone as we enter into this week. I'm gonna just open it up for us a little bit. Elizabeth and Monty, why don't you start us off today? Okay. Well. Uh, first, thank you so much for that amazing video, the music yeah. and the photos and everything. That was wonderful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and what I chose to share today, um, strangely enough, I get a lot of inspiration from An Interrupted Life by Eddie Hillsum. It's her diary. And I just have a couple um, short quotes I was going to read that seemed applicable to now. So the first one. I am not easily frightened, not because I am brave, but because I know that I am dealing with human beings and that I must try as hard as I can to understand everything that anyone ever does. Okay, second. And so I can sit for hours and know everything and bear everything and grow stronger in the bearing of it and at the same time, feel sure that life is beautiful and worth living and meaningful. 
despite everything. But that does not mean that I am always filled with joy and exaltation. I am often dog tired after standing about in queues, but I know that this too is part of life and that somewhere there is something inside me that will never desert me again. And then my final one is um, after dealing with, after dealing out crushing blows, history often takes the strangest of turns. Life is so odd and so surprising and so infinitely buried, uh, varied, varied, and at every twist of the road, the whole vista changes all of a sudden. Most people carry stereotyped ideas about life in their heads. We have to rid ourselves of all preconceptions, of all slogans, of all sense of security. Find the courage to let go of everything, every standard, every conventional bulwark. Only then will life become infinitely rich and overflowing. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm so glad we're recording all of this today. And, and I just have an impromptu chance. We are all connected. Everything is one. Peace and love inside me. Inside me, the author. Peace and love inside me. Peace and love to the world. Peace and love to the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kayla, go ahead. What would you like to say? Well, I write sometimes. And um, this is one of my morning writings. And listen to your inner voice. That voice is your reality. Call it that. Think of the problems when you disregard that inner voice. You ask what happens if you have two inner voices? You must know that that is not possible. It is you arguing with that. <laughs> and that is telling you what you don't want to hear. <laughs> that is what I wrote. We usually don't want to hear <laughs> ourselves arguing with that. <laughs> okay, that's my contribution today. Kayla, and that was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Richard or Jan, did one of you want to say something? Yeah, it's Richard. Um, just a few words from our Christmas letter of 2016. The snow is falling as I write, and there is more darkness than light at this time of the year. As we close this year and look forward to the next, I feel the need to protect and hold close everyone in this community we love. Everyone. Like Mark Twain long before her, the novelist Zadie Smith finds reason for hope, not despair. Accepting an award in Germany, she wrote these words, which I think are relevant four years later today. If novelists know anything, it's that individual citizens are internally plural. They have within them the full range of behavioral possibilities. They are like complex musical scores, 
from which certain melodies can be teased out and others ignored or suppressed, depending at least in part on who is doing the conducting. At this moment, all over the world, and most recently in America, the conductors standing in front of this human orchestra have only the meanest and most banal melodies in mind. Here in Germany, you will remember these martial songs. They are not a very distant memory. But there is no place on earth where they have not been played at one time or another. Those of us who remember, too, a finer music must try now to play it and encourage others, if we can, to sing along. Thank you, Richard. Phil, did you want to say something? Yes. I hadn't intended to say anything today because I'm kind of tired of hearing myself. But part of the title of today's program is sharing our collective wisdom. And that's important to me. I'll be 95 in a few days. And I want you to know what I think is the most important thing in life. I believe it's love. And I'm not talking about some mystical or theological kind of love. And I'm not thinking about sex. I'm thinking about a kind of love that reaches out in the dark to tell someone and yourself, you're not alone in the world. I've tried to say it in a poem that I've read to you before called Old Love. I love Margaret. And when I lost her, I was lonesome. And after a year or so, I went to Verity. And I said, do you want a companion? And she surprised me and said, yes. But nothing physical, you know, she said. And I said, sure, because I was lonesome. And that's how it was for a while. But then there were the stars. Verity could see the stars. It was strange because she had macular and couldn't see my face, but she could see the stars. And we must have thought of ourselves in the stars and how at night you need someone to hold and remind you, you aren't alone in the universe. So we held each other and old felt good. Thank you, Phil. I think uh, Kathleen's song will follow Phil's beautiful words nicely. This is called Take Care of This House. And that is not her. Robin, you're unmuted. Did you want to say something while I am trying to figure out what happened to my screen share? Sure. I don't have a poem or anything that fancy, but I wanted to share that I've been having the same ups and downs that Wendy has described this week where one minute I'm grounded and the next I'm not. And I'm calm and then I'm hyper or anxious or fearful. And so one of the meditations I listened to suggested that you write down some words and stick them up somewhere. So when you are going to that not yourself place, you could remind yourself how to come back. And so the three words I have posted up here on my office wall behind my monitor are hope, resilience, and faith. And those are the three things that at any one time I'll go back to try to pause for a minute, breathe the negativity back out of me and know that there's going to be a tomorrow and things I'm praying are going to get better. 
Thank you, Robin. And now here's Kathleen. Take care of this house, keep it from harm. If bandits break in, sound the alarm. Care for this house, shine it by hand, and keep it so clean the glow can be seen. off with a dream the dream will be yours take care of this house be always on call care for this house it's the hope of us all Thank you, Kathleen. It's, um, it's so wonderful that um, we can still be connected with people throughout the country. Um, and we don't have to be, we don't have to be physically present with each other. In this time, there's always a silver lining. Um, I have one of my favorite readings that I've shared with you a time or two. And I, I believe that it was Bobby who sent this to me um, in an email about a year ago. And it's a message from the Council of 13 Indigenous Grandmothers. And uh, they sent this out um, about, about eight months ago, right? I believe as COVID was hitting, I may be not quite right with that, but this is the message they sent out. As you move through these changing times, be easy on yourself and be easy on one another. You are at the beginning of something new. You are learning a new way of being. You will find that you are working less in the yang modes that you are used to. You will stop working so hard at getting from point A to point B the way that you have in the past, but instead, will spend more time experiencing yourself in the whole and your place in it. Instead of traveling to a goal out there, you will voyage deeper into yourself. Your mother's grandmother knew how to do this. Your ancestors from long ago knew how to do this. They knew the power of the feminine principle and because you carry their DNA in your body, this wisdom and this way of being is within you. Call on it. Call it up. Invite your ancestors in. As the yang-based habits and the decaying institutions on our planet begin to crumble, Look up, a breeze is stirring. Feel the sun on your wings.
My PowerPoint, the Zoom says your screen sharing is right above where I'm supposed to hit start for my my PowerPoint. So just hold with me for a minute. If, when, you if you go back to where you were uh, and then go to slideshow, then on the far left, you should be able to click play from beginning. There we go. to invite Dwayne to close us out with with words this today and then we'll have Miriam's final song. I'm worried a poem from my favorite poet Mary Oliver who always speaks to me in very deep ways. I worried a lot. Will the garden grow? 
Will the rivers flow in the right direction? Will the earth turn as it was taught? And shall I, how shall I correct it? Was I right? Was I wrong? And will I be forgiven? Can I do better? Will I ever be able to say, well, even the sparrows can do it, and I am, well, hopeless. Is my eyesight fading, or am I just imagining it? Am I going to get the uh, Rheumatism, lockjaw, dementia. Finally, I saw that worrying had come to nothing and I gave it up. And I took my old body and went out into the morning and sang. this flame, but
but not the light of truth, the warmth of community, or the fire of commitment. These we carry in our hearts until we are together again. Go your way in peace, wander as you may. Blessed is the path you take. May love guide you on your way.